The fastest way to use stable diffusion. Hello my friends, how are you doing? Today we're gonna check out Forge UI. This promises to be faster than automatic 1111 and even Comf UI and it is only a one-click install. Well, almost. Let's get started. First of course you want to check out the GitHub website for the Forge project. When you scroll down here a little bit you have here the description where you can see that Common GPUs with 8 GB VRAM can expect a speed increase of 30 to 45 percent. When you have a less powerful GPU with only 6 GB VRAM, you can expect 60 to 75 percent of a speed increase. If you already have a good graphics card, like for example the 4090 with 24 GB VRAM, you can only expect an increase of three to six percent i have a 3080 and for me it is 10 seconds instead of 11 seconds with automatic 1111 11. so it's a one second increase if i use control that is even a two second increase so it certainly helps when you scroll down a little bit more, you will find here installing Forge. There's two different ways and one way, especially for Windows, is to have here this download for a one-click package. Now this is a file that includes Git and Python, which means it is self-contained, which is very good for us. So click on that link and download that file and then extract the file into a folder and put it into your documents folder. Once you've done this, you will find this folder structure here. There's an update bat and a run bat. Now first you want to run the update bat and let this run through, let it finish so that it can do the updates for you then you want to run the run bat. Now this is going to do more installation, more downloading for you, so that might quite take a while the first time you are running this. Next you want to close the command window and you want to go into the web UI folder. Scroll down and at the end you will find the web UI user dot bat. Right click and then open this up either with your editor or with your notepad plus plus. This is a free editor. It's a very good tool and it has the huge benefit that it's going to color code the text in here, which makes it a lot easier to use. Now, the first thing you want to do here in the command line arcs, write minus minus theme and then dark to get the dark theme. And then below that, you can see here set A1111 home. Now this, all of these lines, even the lines below have the at rem behind that. So you have to delete that because that will make these lines passive. They are not going to be read. So delete with all of the lines you're using here, the at rem at the start to activate them. Then you want to copy the root folder of your automatic 1111 folder. You can see here for me, it's a1111 slash web UI. Now here is a special thing and without this it's not going to work. You can see here my lines are pointing from the lower left to the top right but usually when you copy them over as you can see up here in window they go from the upper left to the lower right so you have to replace them with these ones so that this is actually working. And then of course you save everything and this should load for you as you can see down here the event directory, the command line arcs, the checkpoint directory with all of your different models in there, the hyper network directory, the embeddings and the LoRa directory. So all of this should be loaded for you the next time you start your program. And you're starting this as I said before with the run.bat file. Double click on that and then this should open up your interface which is going to look like this and yes this looks very very much like automatic 1111 i would have really liked if they put some text here so we know that this is forge and not automatic 1111 in case you run both of them in this case you just see it by the different tabs up here because you can see there is a lot of stuff included in forge for example you have here a training tab, you have an SVD tab, a set one, two, three tab that you can use. But then also when you scroll down here, you can see, for example, controller is integrated. 
Dynamic Thresholding, Free You, Hyperchile, Koya, Hyres Fix, Latent Modifier, Multidiffusion, Self Attention Guidance, Style Align, all of that is already included with this install. However, one thing might not be included and that is the models you need to run these things here. For example, for ControlNet, you need the ControlNet models and of course these you have to download separately. They are not included in the zip file. However, one thing you can do specifically for ControlNet is to go here to settings Look on the left side for control net, then scroll up and here you can see extra path to scan for control net models. There you can put your automatic 1111 folder where you have saved your control net models. As you can see right now, I have here an image loaded. I have a depth map here. And then one thing you can also do here is to create a mask. This is something special you can't do in automatic 1111. Now here you have a brush icon. When you click on that, you can set the size of your brush to make that a little bit easier to reach. One thing though that might hinder you a little bit is these icons here because when you go over them even while you're using the brush this will hinder the brush in actually painting. So what you want to do to enable that is to just hide the preview here for the depth map so that this area here is not overlaid by these icons and then you can use your brush in the correct way without any kind of problem. And this will allow you, for example, to apply different control nets to different areas of your image, which makes it really useful. For example, especially with the IP adapter that you have different styles or different characters in different areas of the image. So that is very, very useful. The rest of the process is exactly the same as an automatic 1111. And here on the screen, you can see some comparisons of mine between automatic 1111 and the forge, the render quality is the same, the prompting is the same, everything is the same. The only difference is that this is supposed to run faster. Have fun with this new faster UI, leave a like if you enjoyed this video and see you soon. Bye. Oh, you're still here. So uh, this is the end screen. There's other stuff you can watch like this or that's really cool. And yeah, I hope I see you soon. Uh, leave a like if you haven't yet and well, um, yeah. <laughs>